It's not the speeches that we can give. The best defense of the Prophet and of Islam is for Muslims to live and to practice the faith each and every day regardless of the consequences because Islam is known not by word but by deed. We gotta live. But the Muslim women, you need, you need to study now. And I was so honored during the crises of 9-11. The Muslim sisters, you surely stood strong. If you were looking for strength after 9-11, come on brothers, you know I'm telling you the truth. We took our kufis off, shaved our beards. Muhammad became Mo, Aisha became I, Khalid became Q. And when someone said to you, assalamu alaikum, you said, what's that, me? But my sisters were on the subway. They was working in the downtown area. I saw sisters one o'clock in the morning in full hijab and even the car, and they were not budging and they were not moving and they refused to be intimidated by mass media. They stood stronger in many cases than the men. And I say to the brothers here, I hope to do it in Ramadan or after. But we need to have a special program in this city honoring the women of Islam and the work they have been doing quietly for such a long time. We need to honor them because we as a people will never rise in the absence of the strength of our sisters in our community. And I leave you with this challenge, brothers, honestly. I leave you with a challenge. Be not intimidated by a woman. Most men are scared of women of substance. That's why every time a brother gets married, the first thing he wants to know is she's going to be obedient, which is a substitute for being a dummy. He wants to know when he says jump, you're going to say when, how high, and where. But the spirit of Islam is that men and women cultivate their minds. If you want to have a successful marriage in Islam, brother, you need an intelligent woman with you. You don't need a dumb woman. You don't need a sister that sits home all day just watching Jerry Swinger. And all day watching Oprah. And all day just, she got on full niqab, but her mouth just won't stop with the cell phone. You need today women in our community who become the doctors and lawyers and engineers and the technicians and the educators so we can begin to claim our rightful place within this society because we ain't going nowhere. We're here to stay. We ain't going nowhere. They don't have enough jails for six to seven million Muslims. So some of us are going to be free. But I'm saying to you, I'm saying to you, my brother, that brother who is married, that brother who is single, you need today with you a strong sister, a sister who can think for herself, who truly wants to be a servant of Allah and obedient to Allah and not be a hypocrite in front of you when she pretends to be a good woman when you're around, but in your absence she is rebellious against the commandments. You need a wife that's intelligent like the wives of the prophets. We have a large collection of hadith from Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha, which is a clear indication that she was directly involved in the cultivation of this ummah of Islam. We need that kind of relationship respectfully between ourselves. And I say to every sister that's here, as a woman, you're supposed to put your faith in Allah, never in man. You must trust Allah for all that you need. If your husband dies today, sister, what will you do for yourself? You go to the masjid, they may give you a little sadaqah. You got 10 kids, they give you $50. And you can't do anything with that. Muslim women in shelters in America, in New York, and we live as men in mansions. And I ask a question to the men today, and I'm finished. What part of the sunnah do we practice? What part of the life of the Prophet do we intend to imitate? The nice beads that we have, the nice kufis we have, the nice stoves. And to my African-American brothers, you're born in America, you get influenced by foreign brothers, and you don't even speak English no more. Brother, mashallah, Abdul Malik, how are you doing? Alhamdulillah, brother, mashallah, acha. No, that's my African-American brothers. Your whole mind is transformed. You got to wake up. And I say to the sisters and brothers here, work together for the common good of this ummah. But brothers, I submit to you, we cannot continue to isolate and ostracize Muslim women from participating respectfully in our development. If they don't become an intricate part as they was in the life of the Prophet in our struggle, we will not be successful. They have to be a part of it.
They got to come out the mosque basements. They got to come from way in the back someplace in the corner. They got to be allowed to go out into the world trusting that they will be good servants of Allah and pursue the highest degrees in education because that will strengthen this ummah. Brothers used to amaze me. No male doctor can see my wife. I say, brother, well, let your wife go to school. No, astaghfirullah, brother. They go to school, they become corrupted. So what do you think Jerry Springer is doing? So brothers and sisters, I love you. But stay strong and defend the Prophet with your life if necessary. And sisters, the time has come for you to rise and take your rightful place and challenge the women of America where Islam is concerned. May Allah bless you. Assalamu alaikum.